Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Gals and girls and guys. It's me, Dorian, here. Uh, today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about one of those common tank issues, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's one of those ones, like, I was like, oh, it'll never happen to me. But at the same time, I knew it was going to happen eventually. I just was, like, wishful thinking, you know? But, uh, yeah, Aptasia. It's, it's a nuisance. It's a real nuisance. Um, your best bet's to get a file fish or like, you know what I mean, uh, some peppermint shrimp or something like that if you if you want to do it naturally. Like, I, that's how I like to do it. So I got, I got a couple peppermint shrimp now. Um, they haven't touched the Aptasia, but they've only been here a couple days. I, the, the stuff I got, there's like a singular piece right here. Uh, I noticed a, a piece on a, my uh, hammer coral there. And I, I found a one on another coral. It originally came on a pulsing zinnia, I think. Anyway, I didn't dip properly. So, you know, dip properly, guys. And you might not have to deal with it like I do. But just so you know, it's bound to happen. Uh, I'm dealing with it now with peppermint shrimp. Hopefully that works. I've tried uh, like scraping one off and that worked on the hammer coral. I would not recommend that way because you're likely to spread it, just breaking chunks off and it floating around. It'll create new ones and whatever else. So, yeah. If you guys notice some like tendril flower looking things, ask somebody because that's probably what it is. You're gonna have a bad time if they get everywhere. You got one or two nuisance and enemies going on, you're probably all right, but you get too many you're going to be really upset with everything. <laughs> uh, but yeah, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Uh, eventually I'll do a video a little bit more in depth on Aptasia so you guys know what to do in case you get it. But until then, signing off.